Did you notice that from Janvi Kapoor to Isha Ambani, everyone's rocking this trend, which I'm obsessed with as well, and I'm calling it the trend of the bejeweled blouse. And today I'm going to show you how to get it without spending a fortune. So instead of buying something new, let's see how we can repurpose our old blouses into something fabulous for this festive and wedding season. So first off, what is this trend about? Remember Isha Amani at her brother's pre-wedding festivities? She wore this jaw-dropping blouse which was literally adorned with real jadao jewelry. Pieces that were taken from jhumkis, necklace, earrings and they were all stitched onto the blouse. Some of these pieces were from her personal collection while others were sourced from Gujarat and Rajasthan. And to top it all off, they added diamonds, rubies and intricate zardozi work to make it look more cohesive. And there were these cute parrot tassels hanging on it as well. And then there was Gigi Hadid at NMACC rocking a chicken kari sari with a golden blouse. The gold on gold embellishments looked amazing against the classic ivory sari and we can't forget the structural work around the shoulders that really made it stand out. This blouse was inspired by South Indian temple jewelry with bold tassels and a Kama Sutra theme. She totally looked like a golden goddess, didn't she? So that was another look that went crazy viral on social media. And it wasn't just the traditional looks because Tamanna Bhatia also got onto the trend with a super cool Indo-Western outfit. She wore this blazer and bralette set from Masaba, covered in the designer's signature charms, paired with a Veshti-inspired skirt, was such a fun mix of traditional and modern. And I feel this particular shade of tan that they call biscuit color goes so well with the gold in the charms. And then more recently, who can forget Janvi Kapoor's all gold outfit at the Ambani Ashirwad ceremony. Her blouse was again inspired by temple jewelry that was paired with this gold lehenga and it was all over social media. And many of us didn't actually notice but Sharvari rocked the same trend that night. And also pearls are having a real moment in traditional Indian fashion these days so we'll chat about that too. Now let's talk about how we can get this look. First up, gather all your old jewellery, brooches, any accessories that you don't use anymore. Here's mine and I'm going to use them to glam up this old ivory blouse. And if you're using earrings, just make sure they don't poke you. So use pliers to fold them at the back. I paired this blouse with this white and gold sari, and this is how it turned out. If you're in the mood for something minimal, then try using a necklace. I got this one from Amazon. I'll share the link in the description box. And we're going to stitch it on to the under bust of the blouse. I styled it with a matha patti worn as a braid accessory and a handcuff with this brown copper organza sari. And here's how it turned out. I do a lot of customizing and upcycling for myself but I think this is the first time I'm sharing it on a video with you guys. And tell me in the comments if you'd like to see more of such projects. For the third one, let's go all out with pearls. Now for this one, I was looking for a blouse that has small booties so that one pearl tassel can go on each of these booties. So these days you'll see the pearl tassels are really common at the bottom of the blouse. So you can either stop here, it looks nice just as it is if you like it to be more minimal, but I wanted to go all in and fill the entire blouse with these tassels just to see how it turned out. And it was a lot of work. But luckily, I live in a joint family. So the ladies in my house, especially my bua and my chachi, they helped me finish this blouse. And it took us a good four days to put all of them together. But I love how it has turned out. Can you hear the sound? If you want to go all in like me, just remember a couple of things. Make sure the embellishments are lightweight. And secondly, make sure the blouse is sturdy enough to hold the weight of those embellishments. Otherwise, they might be too heavy and weigh the blouse down and it might lose its structure. Paired this blouse with this old sari and I experimented with the drape a little bit. And this is how the final look turned out. Let me know what you think. Is it too dramatic? And because there's already so much going on, I try to keep the accessories minimal. And finally, keeping it subtle but stylish, I got this brocket blouse with these golden leaf motifs on it. And I got these metallic leaves on Amazon. And the idea is to stitch these metallic leaves 
on the leaf motif in a way that part of it kind of sticks out. I am not sure if this one is going to work, but no harm trying. Let's stitch them onto the blouse first. And this is how it turned out. I decided to pair it with this lovely gold tissue sari that I got from Tribes India. It's one of my favorites. Goes with so many different things. So tell me in the comments, what do you think? Do you think this one worked out? Was it a pass or a fail? And after watching this video, if you want to go ahead and repurpose your blouse, there are a few bonus tips I want to share with you. These are the things that I have learned from my experience of upcycling my old blouses. First of all, do not limit yourself to blouses. You can put these charms and brooches on a blazer, clutch or even your shoes. The possibilities are endless. So just go ahead and experiment. And remember, less is more. So let your blouse be the star and keep your accessories more subtle and minimal. Now let me know what you think and which one you like the best. 